To start the engine, press the brake pedal and then push the ignition switch. To stop the engine, move the shift lever to the park position and push the ignition switch to the off position. Pushing the ignition switch once without applying the foot brake will place the vehicle in ACC mode. When the ignition switch is pushed a second time, it will change to on and a third time returns the ignition switch to off. If the ignition switch is left in the ACC or on position, various systems in the vehicle can discharge the battery and your vehicle may not start. Allow the engine to idle for at least 30 seconds after starting. Do not race the engine while warming it up. Drive at a moderate speed for a short distance, especially in cold weather. During cold weather, allow the engine to run for a minimum of two to three minutes before shutting it off. Starting and stopping the engine over a short period of time may make the vehicle more difficult to start. When leaving the vehicle, make sure that the ignition switch is placed in the lock position and that you take the intelligent key with you. As a precaution, if the driver's door is open while the ignition switch is in the ACC or on position, a chime will sound. If the intelligent key battery is discharged and you need to start the engine, first, make sure the shift lever is in the park position. Then, insert the intelligent key into the key port. Make sure the intelligent key is placed in the correct direction. The front side faces upward and the key ring side faces the driver. Push the ignition switch while applying the brake pedal and the engine will start. If the brake pedal is not applied when the ignition switch is pressed, the ignition position changes to ACC. The intelligent key port does not charge the intelligent key battery. If you see the low battery indicator in the vehicle information display, replace the battery as soon as possible. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.